This is our final week broadcasting the news from this television station. Starting next week, we'll be bringing you the news from our brand new facility, which is also here in Roanoke. But before we go, we thought you might enjoy a look back at 63 plus years from this very room. This is WSLS-TV signing on the air on this December 11th, 1952. There's no doubt that this old building located here in the heart of downtown Roanoke has seen and made a lot of broadcast history since we first moved in here, call it 63 plus years ago. I've worked out of this building for the most part since 1987, roughly half the building's history, and believe me, I've seen a lot of changes. By the way, I met this fellow the other day he wants to be a guest on our show. Sadly, the years of live programming were well before my time. I'm talking about shows that weren't news, like Club Quiz, The Ebb and Andy Show, and Uncle Looney interviewing local school children and introducing the newest cartoons. Back then, even the commercials were live. All of that happened right here in the same studio where today we bring you the news and Daytime Blue Ridge. A lot of news has originated here, from the start of construction of Interstate 81 to the Smith Mountain Lake Dam, to the race for president between John F. Kennedy and Richard Nixon. And of course, in more recent times, the terrible tragedy that took place on April 16, 2007 at Virginia Tech, the story we wish we never had to cover. Every few years, we've changed the news set, but we've pretty much always come from that same room. This is the current newsroom where all of our news teams are based, and it's actually the third newsroom that I've worked in in this building. It's kind of messy right now, but after all, we are moving. The control room has changed a lot over the last two decades. Once, it was full of people running the audio, controlling the graphics, a director, a technical director. Now, two people do it all with the use of computers. In fact, the director even operates the studio cameras with a joystick. We haven't had cameramen in the studio since 2007. One of the things I definitely won't miss is this old back entrance which most of the staff uses. This railing has been leaning more and more over the years. A couple of more years and we wouldn't have had any room to get down these ugly old steps. Speaking of ugly, I remember this quote new logo that we launched in about 1989. It seemed so cool back then. Ultimately, this building just isn't right for today's fast-paced digital world. It's too hard to run wires for all the computers. Meeting space isn't right for the way business is conducted today. And because this building is a bomb shelter, basically as solid as a rock, it's just too hard to reconfigure everything. Sometimes it's just easier to start from scratch, and that's what happens next week. Tomorrow, I'll give you a tour of our new home. Mm. We cannot wait. We can't wait. I mean, you know, we're nostalgic. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you know, we're absolutely. Kind of attached to this old building, but not yeah. so attached that we aren't really excited about going no. to the new one, right? Well, I think when, once you get past the thought of it and you kind of get into, okay, oh, this is happening, and then you walk into the new building, it, it's much easier to walk out of this building. It is kind of dark and dingy over mm -hmm. here. And my old railing? <laughs> yeah. <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're looking forward to all the new bells and whistles and new lights and all the shiny stuff. And we hope that you'll just uh, take that journey with us across town.